So I'm sure for all of you sloth lovers are thinking, I don't live in the rainforest, how do I protect them? Hi everyone, thank you so much for coming back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Johnny and I am a zookeeper. If you are returning, thank you so much for coming back. So I know you guys already know what animal we're gonna meet today, and I don't know if you guys know this, but they are one of the slowest land mammals on earth. <laughs> Ah, ah, ah. Ah, yes, uh. very funny. I will not be talking that slow the entire time, so you're welcome. So if you'd like to meet a sloth today, come with me and we're gonna go to the zoo and we're gonna go meet Fern. So we're gonna let Fern just hang out on her perch. She loves to smell everything and check everything out. Fern is a Linnaeus two-toed sloth, or we should actually call her a two-fingered sloth. She has two fingers or toes is what everyone else calls them on her front limbs and then three toes on her back limbs, which is why she is a two-toed sloth. So a three-toed sloth would have three toes in front or three fingers in front and then three toes in the back. So a lot of people actually get confused sometimes because they do kind of know the difference between a two-toed sloth and a three-toed sloth but they'll just come up and check Fern out and they'll look at her back feet without actually checking her front feet and see those three toes and think that she's a three-toed sloth. But like I said, she's actually a two-toed sloth with those two fingers on her front legs. Um, and she actually has really long claws on those fingers. They're about three to four inches and they're to help her climb and hang in the trees like she's doing right now. So they spend their entire lives up in the trees because if they go to the ground, they're basically defenseless. So we all know that sloths are very, very slow. So if you can imagine this on the ground, animals are gonna be able to catch up with her. So even though she is incredibly strong, she's just built for living in the trees. If she were to go to the ground, which sloths rarely do, they have to use those front feet to drag themselves because they can't use their back legs to be able to walk. And if being on the ground and being very slow, they are gonna be very susceptible to predators. And some of their predators that are on the ground would be things like jaguars, ocelots, and even domestic dogs. And I'm sure you're wondering, how slow do they move? On average, a sloth moves through the trees at 0.2 miles an hour. And on the ground, as you can imagine, even slower, 0.1 miles an hour. So living up in the trees and being super slow, most of their life just consists of eating, which is what she's doing right now, and sleeping. They average about 15 hours a day sleeping, but they're not lazy. It just is the food that they eat. They only eat things like leaves, shoots, and bark, which is not very nutritious, so that doesn't give them a whole lot of energy to move around a lot. So because they're eating things that don't have a whole lot of nutrition, which causes them to be very slow, they make up for that fact in the amounts of food that they can actually eat. They have a multi-chambered stomach and they're able to hold large amounts of food so that way they can slowly digest everything and they're not using up a whole lot of energy. They want to conserve as much energy as possible like most animals do. So if they were moving around a whole lot more, some of that food would be digesting a little bit quicker and they would need to eat more often. So because she is eating a lot of food, if you think about them living really high up in the trees, they are going to be heard when they go to the bathroom and it falls all the way down to the ground floor. So what they do is they can actually hold about a gallon of urine in their body. And again, they have all of that food that's slowly digesting. They will actually climb to the bottom of a tree on average once a week to be able to go to the bathroom, hopefully unseen and unheard, and then they'll climb back up and move on to stay safe from some of those ground dwelling predators that they may have. But not moving is what keeps these guys safe. So Fern being a sloth living in the rainforest, it obviously rains a lot and being so slow, they'll have things like algae that will grow all over them and they are actually pretty green in the wild if you ever happen to be able to go down to South America and find a sloth in the wild. They're not these pretty tan and brown colors 
like um, like Fern, our two-toed sloth is. Because she's not constantly living outside, we're training all the time and she doesn't need to be green. So, a lot of times, they can be really hard to find because they're blending in so well. Because again, that's what they want to do. Some of their predators that would snatch them out of the trees are things like harpy eagles, which are massive eagles. They can snatch a 30 some pound sloth out of a tree with no issues at all. So there is one other thing and one other way that they can actually move really, really quickly. And it's kind of weird and something not a whole lot of people realize is that sloths are excellent swimmers. So if they do need to get somewhere fast, they'll actually, they'll end up in a river and they will actually be flipped back over right side up and they will swim. They'll doggy paddle and they are very, very fast. She keeps trying to hide behind me. So if it's to get to another sloth, if it's to get away from a predator, that is the quickest way that she is going to be able to move is to swim, which is pretty impressive for a sloth to be a really fast swimmer. So unfortunately, sloths, there are several different kinds, different kinds of two toads, different kinds of three toads that are actually unfortunately threatened in the wild. And that is due to things like habitat destruction. Rainforests used to cover about 40% of the Earth's surface, but now they only cover 6% of the Earth's surface, which is very troubling. So I'm sure for all of you sloth lovers are thinking, I don't live in the rainforest, how do I protect them? Um, it's easy, if you love them and you wanna help out a sloth, you can actually do simple things like recycling aluminum cans and checking the products that you buy, especially food. You can make sure that the coffee or the chocolate or the nuts that you like to buy are sustainably harvested and you can be happy to know that you're saving and helping animals like Fern and her wild counterparts out in the wild, whether it's a sloth or any other rainforest dweller that you really like. Sorry that that video of Fern just kind of abruptly ended, but I will actually post links down below of different conservation organizations that you might want to donate to or even if you have the chance to volunteer with to help out sloths and animals like them in the wild. So I wanna thank you guys again so much for coming back and checking out my video. Please come back next week. We will be meeting the largest owl. He's not the largest owl, but the largest owl species in the world. So please don't forget to like and subscribe to this video and my channel. And if you wanna know exactly when I post that video next week and future videos, you can also hit that notification bell next to the subscribe button so you never miss a video. Cause hopefully my videos will just keep getting better and better. Again, I know I've said it 5,000 times. Thank you so much and I hope you guys have a great day and a great rest of your week. Thank you.